Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to constrain an actor and make it stop on the edges of the scene. Um, a lot of you may already know that constraint overpowers everything, so if you put up walls and you have your actor constrained to your mouse, it'll pass right through the walls. And so that's a big problem, and a lot of people want to know how to fix it, so I'm going to show you. So I'm going to hit preview here, and right now I'd have something that you would probably have where, you know, it constrains to your mouse, but it goes through the walls even though there's a collide rule on both objects. Um, if I let go right about here, it pops back out because of the collide rule, but you can still pass it through the walls. So I'm going to show you how to do this without walls. I'm going to go ahead and delete the three wa the four walls. So that saves four actors right there uh, for performance wise. And I'm going to go into the actor and what we're going to do is we're going to go with the self position x constraint and we're going to tell it to constrain to max and then go to the first x and I'm going to say zero because on the left hand side would be considered zero comma and then we're going to go min and then I go back to the X here. And now we know the far end of the other side is 480 pixels. And I'm going to go comma. And I'm going to go mouse position X. And then because there's two open brackets, we need two close brackets. And we're going to go OK. And then we're going to do the same thing for the Y, the up and down. So we're going to go max. Go to the X. We're going to say max zero because the bottom is zero, comma, and then we'll do min. And then we're going to go to the top, which is 320. And we're going to go comma, device, mouse, position, y, and then two close brackets. Now I'm going to show you what this does. So now the furthest I can go is the center of the box. Either way, because the center of the box is colliding with 0, then colliding with 480, colliding with 320, and so on. So that's pretty good. Uh, we, we took out the walls, and um, so now you know it basically does what we want. But half of the box is passing through the side um, because it's only doing the center of the box. So we're going to fix that right now. We're going to hit back, and we're going to go in here. And we want it to collide with 0. So I'm going to go to the front of the zero and add another bracket. And we're going to say plus, and then another bracket. And we're going to do size, width, divided by 2, close bracket. And then what we're going to do is one more close bracket, I believe. Hopefully that works. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see it, it collides with the edge of the box but not on this side so now we'll go fix that so we're going to say 480 but this time we're going to do a bracket in the front then we're going to go minus because we want it to be less than the 480 because we want to count for half of the box so bracket and then we're going to say self size width divided by 2, and then 2 brackets. So let's see if that works here. So we can go here, and now it stops here. So we, no matter how far we go, it'll stop on those two spots. So now we got to do up and down. So we're going to go in here and do the same thing. Put another bracket before the 0, and we're going to say plus bracket self size and this time we're going to do height divided by 2, 2 brackets. And then we're going to go over here to the 320. And we're going to put another bracket there. And we're going to say minus bracket height divided by 2, 2 close brackets. And hit OK. So now we can go to the top and the bottom. And it will only hit the top and the bottom of the box. So no matter where we go. And that's how you use constraints and min-max to avoid having to go through walls uh, with a constrained mouse.